Have you ever like gone onto a stream and someone's actually done the Halloween like <laughs> like that kind of stuff? I can't do it. So. Anyway, three, two, one. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. It is the BNA stream today on this fine seventh of October, twenty twenty-four. I hope you're having a spooky week, and we'll have a spooky week ahead of you. Uh, my week's been pretty all right. Uh, it's been it. We um here in the wonderful world of New South Wales, we've just uh, had our sports ball uh, finals. BNA stream. Woo! Exactly. We've had our sports ball finals, so that's all past, as well as also uh, the clock is forward an hour. So thank you for for uh, <laughs> coming in early. It's it's it, this is the one time of year that it kicks in. Um, but uh, but yeah, no, uh, it's great to have some evening time finally with the clocks forward. I kind of like it being plus eleven all year round. I'd really love that. I don't care that it's dark at eight a.m. I want it to be bright at five thirty all year. So. How about, let's jump into today's game, shall we? So, let's jump on over. Oh, where is it? There it is. We're doing DOS box time. So if I run this, uh, literally this one intro, the video is wrong. I'm gonna fix this for YouTube because the content is there. There's like a weird split in the middle. I don't know what's up with it. Every other full motion video is fine. It's just this one. The very, very first one. Uh, but this is Realms of the Haunting. Uh, also, give me a volume check if it's really loud, because it's, it's a remarkably loud game on, on my end. Um, it's not going to affect the output stream. <laughs> I'm just, just uh, noting whether it's, it's the right volume. I'm going 15. Oh, that is because I didn't hit the button. Okay, now you can hear it. It's still going to be loud. Jet... This is peaking right now on uh, on the the raw audio, so I, I've got it 15 decibels down uh, for the stream audio, and uh, of course for YouTube it's all fixed in post, so YouTube people will never know. Uh, Dos Chivos hype? Oh, it'll be good fun. It'll be good fun. But um, yeah, no, this game is a treat. This is by uh, Gremlin, who you may also recognize. They made um, Normality, if you know of that game. Uh, I think that's been either given away on GOG for free in a lot of cases, so you may have actually seen this one, but Realms of the Haunting is a real treat. It's a wonderful hybrid game, and I think it does a, a great job of um, uh, of uh, combining some genres, and also uh, you've got the full motion video all over the place. And, best of all, it's got subtitles, so that means I can actually talk over it. But I would highly recommend giving this game a go. It starts off with a, a snot ball, There's something hilarious about, like, these 90 full motion videos, because it's like, they all look so goofy by today's standards, but you get what they're trying to go for, other than the frame rate is atrocious at times. It's general. The game will run really smooth when you're in the game, but sometimes the full motion video itself is like, oh, I'm going to skip some frames, because why not? It's, it's, not, it's not an engine, it's clearly a, a video, so... Uh, so when the snot ball hits the ground, it causes a weeping angel to pop out, and seven stones start... That is true. That is true. There's an incredibly 90s, just logo. I love it. It actually starts off with a decently long cutscene as well. Like, this, this goes on for quite a few minutes. Um... But, uh, yeah, no, I expect this to take all of Halloween for the stream, so this will be good fun. Um, and yeah, yeah, when, when Retro Achievements gets do uh, DOS support, which, um, it's closer than not, I'd say, uh, I would love to, to dev this set. Unless someone really else wants to, in which case, that's fine. <laughs> I'd love my for this to have a set. Ago. Since he and my mother divorced, we'd had our problems. I hadn't seen him as often as I'd been. Yeah, fatherless behavior right here. You know how it is. You know how it is. I think you've got all the time in the world to sort things out. There's oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone's a live action person as well. That's It's so fun. <laughs> then the letter from the lawyers, and suddenly it's all too late. Nothing you can do. <laughs> it's like the one time he's got a real background in the whole game. <laughs> My father was the pastor at a Cornish village. 
He was well liked. Except by his wife, I guess. <laughs> Except his son. Oh, and the son. I can't explain it, but lately I've begun to dream about a house. Incredibly vivid dreams. <laughs> you did say Cornwall. Or Cornell. Ooh. Uh, yes, the aspect ratio is a bit weird on the videos as well. It's just kind of all over the place. Like, some of it is wide and some of it's not, so you just gotta take it as it is. I had other dreams at that time, too. Just as real, but not <laughs> Oh, honest. man. Quite the opposite. Quite the opposite. <laughs> like, oh boy. I never met her. But that she really existed. Somewhere. Isn't there, like, a theory where it's like, there's some people's faces that similar. you dream about, but you've probably only seen the them in such a fleeting glance? disliked and mistrusted. I nearly shut the door in his face. He did smile. Something stopped me. He said his name was Elias Camber. Apparently, he and Dad met at a conference a couple of years ago and kept in touch off and on by letter. He told me the letters had become very agitated over the last few months. Father had discovered something about a strange house on the outskirts of the village. That's probably why you're dreaming of the house. Something terrible. And there were no more letters. Just a parcel we Oh, I never trust a guy who has like dirt in his nails. To make sure I got it. Almost all of what Camber told me was a lie. There's no priest of that name in Cornwall. I checked. I love the Venetian blinds here. Oh. <laughs> I ignored the whole thing for a while. Didn't want to think about it, I suppose. <laughs> but the dreams have been getting worse. Oh, watch out! This painting's moving. So two days ago, and he's on front of a fire background. Fragments of some carved objects. Some of the pieces are missing. I've looked. They're <laughs> glowing in his hand, though. I'm none the wiser for what they might be. I do know they're powerful. He seems like a normal guy, except he believes that these, like, pieces of metal are powerful. So I guess he's okay for the occult. So here I am. At the house Camber spoke of. The house of my nightmares. I feel I've been brought here by something. The taxi, I, I guess. They did glow, yes. Or what it wants. Always trust a house whose gates open automatically. It is the 90s. It could be, you know, mechanical at some point. I I do wonder where these people are now. Because, I mean, you've got actual people's names here. Like, they're putting in their heart and soul. Give you proper acting credits. Oh, we've even got like a... A focus shift, even if it sort of doesn't work because he's clearly blue screened in front of it. But oh boy, this this game will be a treat. This will be a good treat. Whoa! <laughs> Got jump scared by a doorknob. He's, he's not going to survive this whole game, is he? I do appreciate how, like, solid they are with the weird blue screen angles as well. Because that's something that a lot of games, um, or really early blue screen projects sort of fail to capture. Was like, how do you actually do, like, some fun cinematography? And this seems to do it alright. I like it. Harvest is another good one. One year. One day we'll do it. <laughs> Wait, you just gotta... Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, the blue screen does uh, kick in a bit. You can sort of spot it behind him in most cases. But, eh, you know, what are you gonna do? Yeah. 
Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I'm not expecting a ton out of, like... Um, I mean, I don't feel like the, the budget is, like, that small. But, yeah. Uh, anyway, here we are. Realms of the Haunting. Now, uh, if you're playing along, for reference, uh, both the GOG and the Steam version actually are not... Well, as it's referred to as, the, I think it's the UK version. And the only thing the UK version particularly does differently is that if you go into the settings, you can actually define movement keys, which I think is actually kind of useful. I like these controls, even if, like, your strafing is an A and D. I find that actually works the best, because I find myself turning by the keyboard more. Um, you've also got uh, subtitles on everywhere, which is nice. And also, an actual 640x480 option, which is very nice, because otherwise then you're playing at 320x200 all the time. Um, you also get these difficulty levels, particularly there's a combat difficulty, which uh, you don't need it to be that high, and the adventure difficulty, which you do want it to be high. The game consists of 20 chapters, each wildly different in size, so... Uh, and uh, we begin. So the game starts off... How, okay, how do we describe the game? Um, you have a mouse, so it's a point-and-click game. You can look at things and click things with the right mouse. Symbols glowing. And you can actually interact with some things as well uh, if you walk up to them and uh, the left is green. It's not on a grid. It's like Doom Base and you even got jumping and crouching, which is really neat. Um, it's all just like you're looking anywhere, really. And you can even use uh, the right... You hold down most, both mouse buttons. You can actually look around and get that kind of fun, like, warping perspective for the ceiling and floor. Most of the game is generally fine without needing to look up and down, but yeah. Uh, but you can look at things like this. There's a label on this. Colt trademark. And you can grab it. Novel. Look homeward angel. And uh, then you've got an inventory button and you can look at your inventory for things you got here. And he'll even have some fun bits of dialogue. These fragments have some kind of occult markings, runes or something. These fragments, the seals. It's pretty cool. Whatever. I like I really love the presentation on this. To something. The power within them makes me feel alive to their Like it, oh, it's it's so well done for what it is. They affect my dreams. The the parts that you'll find clunky is once you start getting into the actual combat or the keep them safe. You know, the some of the level design. Um, he's got a lamp, which doesn't have any extra lines of dialogue, and a matchbox. Um, we've also got a... There's this, a label on this. Colt trademark. Which is our, uh, Colt ammo, as well as also Novel. this book. Look homeward angel. Sometimes you just grab books. Sorcerer? 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 <laughs> Sorcerer? Hmm. Elias Camber, if I'm not mistaken. He's holding a mask. Colt-style robes. This symbol's glowing. Don't budge. Uh, that's also light switch switches sometimes. To be working. No game's perfect. I love this as mirror, well. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Hell. This is really taking its toll. And you can punch it. Smashed. Cracked. Smashed. <laughs> it's great. Old suit of armor. All the pieces are wired together. Those eyes. Almost look real. It's like it's clearly blinking at us. I don't know why he's like, mm, almost looks real. Uh, he doesn't comment on everything. The symbol's glowing. Stop fast. So, you know, you'll run out of things to, to look at, but that's all right. Um, I love these kind of voxel style objects as chair. well. Like this chair is like, got some fun geometry going on. It wobbles a little bit, but it's like, eh, it's cool. Punch the eyes. Oh, okay. Generally, if you mouse over something and the, you know, like, hold on. If we look at the mirror, you can see that the left click is red. That will initiate an attack. You can also just generally hit control. You can... You can just do that, but that's not an enemy. There are no enemies in the first chapter, but the first chapter is also really short. So, um, you'll wander around the house a little bit. You'll definitely see the some things like, you know, these glowing symbols on Stuff all the doors. Fast. Uh. But, uh, the orb upon it says the typewriter that types Ink itself. I love this as well, where it's like... I think it gets it, yeah. And then you can take the piece of paper, look in your inventory. Typed. And what does it say on it? Oh. Oh. If you believe in the soul, if you believe in the spirit, and if you have a god, pray for them. Oh. Ominous. Colt 45. Casually, there is a gun here. Um, 
So <laughs> you there's you're remarkably Something find weapons in, in places. Um and we've also got this book here. Current spate of crop circles baffles experts. Paranormal experts called in to uncover the source of the recent crop circle formations in rural Cornwall. Uh, there is a lot of text here, but you can sort of skim it with your eyes because it's a fair bit of fair bit of reading. Basically aliens, yeah. Um, for reference as well, this is an important inventory note. So your weapons appear in this screen. Um, the manual probably says this, but just to, just to make it clear, um, the top row of these, there's five slots, and you, when you click one, you'll unselect a weapon and slot, and then keys two, three, four, five, six, select the weapon that was in slots one, two, three, four, five. So that's how you kind of have your weapons on your, on, on the ready. I love the turning the lights off. It's good fun. But, uh... Yeah, there's going to be way more weapons than just six, so... Uh, okay. Good. But that, that's how you'll see me switching between, you know, weapons on the fly for the most part. Um, Rat. No head. No head? You just... Can you not jump out of the mansion for me? It doesn't let you... doesn't let you leave. Ceramic vase. Candle. So... You <laughs> let me out. So, uh... You really do with some sleep. Hmm. Smashed. <laughs> um. Painting of a sarcophagus. Painting of a sarcophagus. I love the sarcophagus. Now, when you, if you first play the game, you're gonna get very confused because I have sort of wandered down every corridor right now, and you really need to understand one of the game's concepts right off the gate, uh, which is not. You have to be putting items into your hand sometimes to use them. So here we need to put the matchbox into my hand. And then you need to go and all of these candles. If you left click with the matchbox in your hand, they'll then light them. You need to be careful because as you light all of them, this painting will recede back, allowing us to grab this key. And as well, this, uh, that just happens. Yeah, okay. Uh, but the key is immediately used here. And uh, that ends the chapter. <laughs> it's a pretty quick chapter. But um, don't worry, the chapters are nowhere near as quick in the, the future. That is true. You usually have to use it. But there are some games where sometimes it's just you left click while you have a thing. And it lets you use it. And especially trying to understand the presentation a little bit. You know, you, you sort of have to like realize that that's what they're intending you to go for. Sort of just staring blankly into some, you know, some windows from time to time. You like jazz? Exactly. Watch out, it's the, it's, uh, Jasper from Tomb Raider 2. It's the butler. I forget, is his name Jasper? It's not like I've played that game on stream. Oh no. You gotta slowly turn around when someone approaches you. And then slowly walk towards him <laughs> as he approaches you. Adam. Oh, it is such a joy to see you again, my boy. I wish with all my heart that I could send you away from me. Yeah, that's Adam, right. <laughs> please don't turn away from me. <laughs> well, he knows he's there. You must the guy flee. with the American... The the Italian ethnic guy with the yes. with an American accent. My body lies beneath the it's got this very British guy as his dad. But my soul is trapped. Oh, your soul's right here. By the darkness that inhabits this place. Just like leave, bro. You are my only hope. This is my prison and my jailer. Just like Binding take it off. I don't know. I I always find like the occult is the very interesting because it has to attach all these rules on how it works, such that it can have like 
the idea of eternal damnation, things like that. I don't know too much, and obviously, obviously everyone makes their own rules. This guy's trapped. Also, someone is about to unleash hell on earth, apparently. My boy. Like the puppet? He is a kindred. I don't know if he's my brother. He doesn't quite look like me. Alf on the shelf. For the love of God, remember these words. Remember my warnings. You are the last hope. Oh, he's reaching out. Whoa. <laughs> you tell the actor, okay, things are appearing around you. <laughs> I love the costumes though. It's good fun. <laughs> They're just surrounding him. Oh no. And then uh they let us on free reign into the into the uh the study. So first of all, most important thing, he's got a light switch. We don't need to live in darkness forever. Um it's got some fun things coal like scuttle. Just an ordinary coal scuttle. Coal scuttle, yeah. Statuette. Covered in gold leaf. Yeah, he's got some statuettes around as well. The drawers are stuck. Um, Scimitar. Claymore? Mint condition. Behind all this muck, I'll bet there's a sword. This one's come away from the rack. There you go. So there's a sword that actually comes off the wall, and you can use this as a very nice melee weapon. So I always like having it in slot Gold one. 45. Obviously, you know, there's a little bit of survival horror, like a little... Uh, not really. You know, you're in, a, you're in a mansion. What the hell is that? <laughs> well, that's a bit weird. What the hell is that? Yeah, okay, sure. Uh, doesn't appear to be working. Man, it's almost as if they did a painting of this sarcophagus right here. Um, we've got more of these uh, statues. Epic break, <laughs> exactly. Hands not working, but it's still ticking. Still doesn't make any damn sense. Still doesn't make any damn sense. There's a lot of things that uh, don't mean anything just now, but they will eventually. Um, for example, all these. Uh, Statues of, uh... Of snakes, for some reason. Dragon. This is scorched. There's also badly. a shield here, which you can use as a item slot number, or another weapon if you want. I end up don't using the... the... the shield that much. Uh, we've also got another note There's something here. written on this. Something written on this. It's high noon. Well, it's actually 6 o'clock. Or actually, it's 8.53. Um, so we got... Dear... Oh my gosh, what's that name? I am returning to the temple on the 7th. I guess it's been a while. I fear something is terribly wrong there. RJ. Or is that RK? Don't... Oh boy. He's getting letters from R. Kelly. Oh no. That's topical, isn't it? Um... Okay, so... Here's the thing. So you saw that the snakes... One of the snakes was actually Doesn't sitting here. Working. And it makes it quite clear that you're probably gonna do something Doesn't with these. Working. Um... But unfortunately, there's seven spots, working. and we only picked up five snakes, so keep that in mind. There's also these masks. Japanese. Wooden voodoo mask. Theatrical mask. Gonna it's want them. Book he's reading. Uh, th you may be wondering, where do I go now? I have four snakes? I don't have, like, four. I have, uh, like, five. <laughs> I picked up a lot of stuff. You just need to know that there's a, um, you know, a fake wall here. Jesus. What the hell? And then a guy comes out, so, uh, time to get him with the old jousting technique. Also, just as a mental note, uh, you can hit this and save your game. So I'm gonna uh, <laughs> save there, just to just to have that there. Um, there are some insta death traps, and uh, you do have a health bar, so you do need to always watch out. There's always a hidden tunnel. Also, uh, the wall then collapses on you, so you can't go back. So we're sort of stuck here for a while. But uh, this is this is how the gameplay loop goes. You start killing some enemies. Doesn't appear to be working. 
you know, you pick up some weapons. We got our pistol, you know, if you want to use your pistol, but I like stabbing people for a bit. On guard! He's got a big sword. He doesn't know how to use it. These guys are very dumb and they have like weird turning circles, so they're actually really easy to trick and just kind of wander around. Hi there. Uh, enemies don't respawn for the most part. You'll know when they respawn. Um, don't think you should be respawning. Maybe you just, maybe you just wanted to respawn. Why not? Got a, you know, star on the wall. Why not? Why not? Uh, they're only pentagrams if you look at them from the right way. Like this is, this is just a regular star at this point. Uh, look down as well, because these boxes are very easy to you know, hide certain things. And this guy's coming through. Ow. That's okay, don't worry about taking too much damage, because uh, there's plenty of opportunities to heal. There's a small aperture in the middle of this door. So uh, if we grab this, and we chuck it in there... Damn it, no, I'm not doing a damage this run. <laughs> Maybe if I do the retro achievements, maybe I will do damage lists in places. Uh, so we picked up a, a, a roll. Uh, this is fun, by the way. You can actually find maps as well. So uh, let's try and understand where we are. I'm pretty sure... Uh, pretty sure we're up the top. I think we're in this room here. Because it kind of makes sense that we come from like a little tiny corridor, but we're up here. Um, also, yeah, it's very hard to visually capture the whole thing when it's like this like rectangular box that's only occupying like a third of the screen. Cartridges for a shot. Look at all these things he's hidden here as well. Seriously, we're, we're loaded. We've got like, you get 10, bu uh, 12 bullets a, a clip as well, and we've got like eight spare ones, so. As well as also your Wig and Weld potion. Sketch of a door. Yeah, very interesting. Um, but yeah. Oh, don't take that out. Well, you sort of take it out because you need to take it out to go through. But that item's on for that one door. Also, uh, nice spawning dudes behind you. There we go. Sort of taking a bit of a bit of the stab in there. That's okay. Joust a bit in this room and take some heat for some reason and it'll be okay because he's got two health potions as well as also everyone's favorite weapon the shoot gun the melee had oh yeah the fork from blood is like worthless barely does what you want it shotgun. to do winchester m1897 slide action 12 gauge shotgun to be exact <laughs> what a nerd <laughs> i love it uh, let's pop it there. Um, the shotgun is incredibly useful, and don't feel too bad about uh, running out of ammo, because they will give you a lot of ammo for it anyways. Uh, I love this, like, just lava down here as well. <laughs> like, you can't drop into it, but it's like, man, he does. What does he, what does he know about the pistol as well? Colt 45, semi-automatic handgun. That's a lot of, like, just fun weapons of video games at this time period, you know? Yellow lava. Oh, well, that's how you know it's hot. Or well, not hot, because it should be blue if it's really hot. That's when you come across this guy, and you're like... I love, by the way, when you start using the left mouse to attack rather than control, you start waving around like it's a point-and-click game. You actually, like, point at him. Click him. You're a bit weird. Little mech things. Coming out of everywhere, so... Uh... Well, that's fun. Thank God for the shotgun. Exactly. One ugly mother. The pistol is surprisingly like good damage as well. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of a a Bioshock big Knight daddy or some soldier. Definitely Norman period though. Norman period. So uh, you'll find Old this locked. this thing here as well as also uh, lots of bones, but uh, there'll be a way. Just uh, mentally noting all the doors and things, because there's a lot of different parts you can go down. Shoot him in the shins. Oh, it's blocking the blocking the way. What's that spiel? What's all this about? What's all this about? Uh, 
<laughs> the shotgun's always good though. I love it. Cartridges. Uh, let's look down and pick these up as well. Look at that, plenty of ammo. No marble for Satan. Oh, exactly. <laughs> hey, he could be an Archie comic guy. I mean, it's glowing. What do you mean it's cold to the touch? That feels like I would have all this energy. I love this painting that's looking at you. Um, there's actually a bunch of paintings, but uh, I've only got so much, so many descriptions to go around. You know, a pentagram on the on the floor. Huge. And uh, we've got a little stairway up here, so it's <laughs> you're not truly trapped by the the stairs breaking out underneath you. There's a lot of chambers to, a lot of hallways to observe here, so uh, we'll be here for a, at least a bit. Someone's coat of arms, maybe. There's also, yeah, you gotta peer down, just go, ah, yes, look, more, more pistol, more pistol shots. Open the gate. There's like this tiny box here you can barely even see in it. Uh, yeah, there's gates all around, so if you... Oh, hi there. Oh, wow. <laughs> this body really does like the hitbox. And I love how there's a dead end here. Why not? At least your attack seems to clip walls pretty nicely, so... That's alright. Uh, this door is... Not on limits, it's pretty closed. Preemptively swing at him, you should be alright. <laughs> Slippy sand lane. Oh, exactly. True. True, yeah. Uh, so, here's the thing as well. Uh, Caps lets you go into run mode. Uh, you probably want to be into run mode because when you pull this lever, it will... Oh, oh boy. When you pull that lever, the door will only stay open for a little bit of time. Or a lot of bit of time, but enough for me to <laughs> run straight into it. Also, there's a heartbeat just here in the room. You'll hear it as I wander around the room, the stereo will kick in, and you'll be like, Oh yeah, no, it's definitely there. In the center. As well as a laugh. <laughs> I'm not sure what's up with that. Uh, there's a key here, though. And another enemy, because why not? It tells how high- Oh, yeah, exactly. Your presence violates the pact as it is written as it was. So Just casually talking to you. Don't talk, only shoot. I might as well chug one of these potions while I've got a chance. It's got some sort of liquid in it. Any ideas? So how to use it? I believe you just drag it over your... Nope. Hold on. Figure it out. Double click. Double click. Oh, eternity. Whoops. Yeah. Wander up these stairs and flick the lever. And don't flick the lever because we came through this way. Did we come through this way? I guess I did. Yeah, I guess I did because this is... Back here, so. Alright, cool. All for a dead end. All to know for a dead end. Actually, it's not a dead end, because we got a key. That's right. We can now figure out which door I came through. If you see enemies... Oh, this, yeah. What have we got here? Yeah, this is a, a portal. Casually, some enemies are spawning it. You need to wander around the room and hit the switches in the right order well not in the right order but just hit the four switches it keeps spawning dudes on you which is not fun uh this is the last one but when you hit it all the enemies die on you oh you know and then it just kind of Drops you here for some reason. Uh, so if if I if I wasn't standing on the spot that it teleports you, he actually reads out the um, the text. So, which is important to note. 
Uh, let's put the key into our inventory and we can open this door. We can wander in here. I feel like if you're wandering around and especially as this is your dad's house, right? You knew that it was in his name and he's there anyways. And you just go 10 minutes into his basement. Not only does he have lava, which is a great aesthetic choice, by the way, the resale value on this house would be incredible, but he's also got like real skeletons just chilling. The monsters I can ignore because they're behind the hidden bookshelf. Oh, <laughs> I got a bone to pick with him. Yeah, sure, yeah. <laughs> I don't think you'll ever know who most of these skeletons belong to, but, uh... It's nice to know that there was a lot of company down here. Who dares to walk this place unmarked? Who dares to whisper into the microphone? Okay. <laughs> Turn back. Okay. Uh, it is at this point that you probably want to save the game. Uh, not that it's a... Not that it's a, you know, a place that you'll, you know, you'll fail. But if you decide to just be like, oh no, I'll keep going down. And you decide to just keep going forward. You're like, oh. <laughs> oh, you know. <gasps> oh, that's a death, by the way. <laughs> that's what I mean. Sometimes the game has, uh, has insta-death. This one is so incredibly telegraphed. Like, you know. Can, can you re- Can- Can you fault anyone for just like being curious? Yeah, oh, they- They did tell you. He flat out was like, yeah, uh, turn back, go. But like, as a player, this is- This is, uh, This is a wonderful segue I have. Um, there's a tweet- I'm just gonna tab out for a quick moment. There is a tweet, uh, from a guy called Astro Cyborg, and I don't know when this happened. Actually, I think he links to the video underneath. Maybe he does. Uh, but he says, the creator of God of War, everybody, and it's a five minute clip complaining of- <laughs> complaining is probably a harsh word, um, but basically going on about how Astrobot has some real problems with, uh, presenting these bosses with depth perception and, uh, you know, it doesn't really teach- you know, sometimes it combines things a bit too- too much and it's too much of a difficulty spike, uh, which is a real curious point, I guess, because from what I've heard, and this is all hearsay, because I've- well, you can sort of squeeze back here and sort of see the edges of the sprite. Um, but uh, a, a lot of like the sentiment that I get from Astrobot is that it's a real close to perfect game. It's like the difficulty is really on point. The you know the uh, the challenges seem very fair. It's like yeah, you, you may weird. die, but you can just keep trying, and you'll you'll it. understand it exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, now this. I, I love the art of this. Like, you just walk up to here and you've got these, like, signs up here. Destroyed for lack of knowledge. We, we are the smart, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, so if you click on the chair, we'll have this wonderful cutscene. Knowledge is power, but money is power. So does that mean money is knowledge or knowledge is money? Ooh. That's what universities try to tell people. <laughs> Spoilers, you can sometimes teach yourself some things without needing a formal tertiary education. But sometimes the tertiary education is nice. Depends how much value you get out of it. Oh! <laughs> the skull's glowing, time to grip it more! Me when the back massager is too strong. I've only ever had, like, seen massage chairs at, like, department stores and shopping malls. I've never, like... <laughs> I've, 
I've never personally wanted one. I've sat in one and I'll be like, yeah, no, that's a bit weird. This just feels like a a mechanized item in the back of the chair, like spinning some circular balls. we've seen this guy before so it's just kind of like oh okay oh <laughs> we've seen this guy he's got the hat the hat man every time someone mentions the hat man i think of that guy in particular uh yeah um good good going how do you accidentally like do that for both hands like just as hard I'm assuming he just thinks he's on a fever dream right now, you know, like... He's, he's already been slamming enemies and talking to ghosts at this point. Hell, you won't get me sat on that again. Hell, you won't get me sat on that again. Yeah, it ain't happening again. Uh, does he have a... a comment on it in... Nah, nah I don't think he comments on it. <laughs> won't fool me again. I love this magical barrier, he doesn't even have a, a line to comment on, he's just like... It's just there. Uh, so with the key and uh, the the branding on your hands, uh, you should have the ability to wander past that, uh, past that door. And uh... Here we go, so if I go left... No, right at the top. Yeah, that's the marking, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We could do a speedy run as well. Coolum as star in Darius. And also knowing the... <laughs> I was gonna say the Spanish, that's not Spanish. Yeah, it, it is very easy to lose your bearings, although I will say that, like, it's not that every corridor looks the same. You can sort of gauge based on, and especially, yeah, you gauge based on the map. You'll get there. Like, I don't think anywhere is truly that bad. But you can see, like, down here, it's like, yeah. There's a few different chambers, a few different places to go to. Um, so, yeah. Wander through, wander through here. Now that we've got the, the marking, uh, he doesn't yell at you anymore. I love this pool. This is a very fun pool. Oh. Oh. It's the red one. The red ones are, are evil. Well, they're all evil, I guess, but the red ones are harder. Those are some bright yellow pants as well, lovely. Oh yeah, there's a very mist pool. I love my lava though. Come over here, we've got a... It's got some sort of liquid in it. Any ideas? I think these ones are... Either there's a magic potion, I've completely forgotten. It's been a while since I played this game. I think these are full heals, the red ones. <laughs> he's out, he's out. Yeah. Run over this side and uh sarcophagus. Cold touch. At least this one's not glowing. Depiction of a knight. No name. No name. Oh, you want me to save? That's fair. Yeah, yeah, do save reminders as well, it's fair to to bring up. So uh this pool is a... Uh, well it's a pool. And I'm drowning in the pool. Oh my gosh. Okay. No swimming. Yeah, it takes a while, there's no quick save button. That's the only catch I find. I wish I had a quick save button. Wow, it's that symbol that's being used everywhere. Wow. Hmm. 
This place has waited longer than you can possibly imagine. You are more a week. Take these now you want. Recalibrate, Recalibrate the powers. You must. Uh, you can casually. I don't know what ignore and leave. What's the difference? <laughs> but I love how you can clearly tell that's where the take continues. My father's dead. Oh no. You must not falter. You and the artifact together. Together as one. A weapon against all evil. All of it. Uh, ignoring and leaving does nothing. It's literally just the same cutscene again. Like, seriously, if I hit leave, it's like almost you the same cutscene again. Place. Other than he walks really away. The answer to your father's fate lies with it. That's I've had enough talking statues for one day. But uh yeah no, you need to you need to take it. You know, you gotta take it. What's well, it's not a katana though, that's the thing. You are marked. You are marked. Take the device and restore the balance. It's one step better than a katana though. Well, at least you can touch something without having, like, 50 visions. It's just chilling here as well, you know? It's, yeah, it's a staff. It's not a, it's not a katana. I love how it's like, okay, it's staff, right? You know, you get to cast magic with a staff. Maybe. And uh, in theory, you're correct. Uh, other than he holds it like a shotgun. And he shoots like a shotgun. <laughs> No, you don't slap people. You you flat out like shoot this magic energy at um well these things. White marble. There's a sense of calm around these things. <laughs> I love the angles, it's great. It's a big big statue guy. Um magic shotgun is cool. So, yes. No more ammo, except it takes forever to recharge, so it's not always the most useful, but it's nice to start off with. Very nice. Um, but yeah, no, the, the God of War guy, I, like, I don't have a ton to say about it because I don't know of his opinions very much. It turns time into bullet. Exactly, exactly. Now, what do you do to continue on? You just have to know that uh, this thing, if you... This isn't going to move in a hurry. If you uh, come up to it, you can uh, speak the words of power. <laughs> yeah. And then it proceeds to not move in a hurry. Whoops. Oh. Oh. Cool. Okay. Falling down a ledge. Good to know. You, you fall down a ledge there. Oops. Yeah, okay. Big health. <laughs> yeah, there's a, there's a weird... Hold on. Like, you can... You can barely tell, but, uh... Yeah, like, there's a weird little ledge you can fall down there, which, uh... I accidentally did. The metal in these chains. Hey. What have we got here? Or a prison, I guess. Hey, I'm, I'm knocking on doors here, excuse me. <laughs> it's a weird little prison area. And then it exits out into, well, got some shotgun shells and chairs. One chair. Just an old wooden chair. An old chair. I'm trying to think where this connects to. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it connects up to... Yeah, that little room. Okay. Other than you have to drop a bit of health as you do it, so... Uh... Well, we can... Test right now. 
I'm pretty sure it does recharge when it's not in your hand. So if I come back and it's got like... Oh, it's not even in my slots, hold on. Uh, staff goes up here. Eh, I'd say so. I'll come back to it in a moment and it should be all good. Uh, this is the dead end. I don't need to be up here. I guess we're just taking the teleport again. Which I will skip because it's the same cutscene every time. <laughs> yeah, you see what I mean? Like... <laughs> that's a meme door. Oh, hi there. I guess I didn't kill him last time. <laughs> Ed is an epic trap. Uh, even if it did lead to extra shotgun ammo. So, I'll give it that. As we wander through here, this is a perfect save opportunity. Not for end of stream save, but just a... Make sure you save. I love how I typed out a name and I accidentally hit right bracket and I've just kept it now. <laughs> there he is. That is like the perfect villain introduction right there. Just him wandering into frame. It was only a matter of time before we met again. You. <laughs> Me. <laughs> Me. <laughs> now. Like what? Those fragments of yours? Wow, giving it away? They've caused me enough trouble as it is. Because you just told me, Fox boy. Where is my father? Well, I love right channel. Here. Never trust the guy who talks about your dead father like he's everywhere. <laughs> who are you? What are you doing here? My name would be nothing. I would be nothing the to you. The rest of the story is likewise none of your concern. You are not here to question. I've got nothing of yours. <laughs> oh, I don't have a. <laughs> Those fragments that I mentioned earlier don't don't have them. <laughs> Capitalize so you know it's important. Give it to me now. Uh give me one good reason. How about Oh my gosh, bones. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. <laughs> They've been here for thousands of years. That was a person. Next time, boy. It is you that shall come to me. On your knees. You've got him right here. I don't know what part of his evil plan requires him to, like, wander a bit more. <laughs> and you're about to kill him anyways. He's summoning Klee skeletons from Serious Sam. Uh, this is a bit of a, um, a beginner's trap. This kind of area, because, uh... Well, it's a few of these skeletons. And, uh, not a lot of breathing space. So here they go. Hold on. I think the pistol is actually really good. Yeah, the pistol's alright, so. We made it out. It's all it's all good. It's all G. And then we just keep wandering through, because why not? Night or some soldier locked. Man, if only I had a you know, an item that could fit in here. Oh snap, wait, hold on, yeah. Locked. Won't open. Was I meant to pick up the shrive earlier? Oh no. Where did he go? Like, how did he manage to leave? Hold on, so we're back here. Let me just double check that I didn't just 
casually casually ignore uh you know the important item uh the shrive should be the the round thing um like the actual like pendant symbol Two itself intertwined serpents it's not up here if you're playing on the baby difficulty the items glow if you can actually pick them up I, I thought I picked it up just here, like, with the staff. Um... Oh, there it is. Yeah, whoops. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Hold on, we can even do a... Thing set with stones. Looks designed to screw into something. Curious. The design in the center of this shrive is the same as the marks branded... Funny how that seems to happen. I feel protective of it. As if it belongs to me. An extension of me. That sounds crazy. That sounds crazy. Seems like I've always known what it is. What it's for. But I can't remember. God damn it, I can't think straight anymore. Yeah. Same. The Z in the front. The Z. Uh, where are you seeing the Z? The font. Oh. The description? When you reflect- oh, when I reflect- Curious. Uh, oh! Yeah, yeah, that's a Z. Same as the marks that's a Z. My hands. That's a- that is definitely a Z. That's just- that's just how weird British people draw Z sometimes. I don't. One, two, three. That's all you do. Don't overdo it. Not one, two, oh, Don't do that. Okay, pop the stride in the spot, and it falls out straight back into your hands, because why not? Depiction of a knight. No name. Depiction into of a knight. Into the depiction of a knight no with no name. Uh, there's a lot of, like, weird little corridors here, and uh, I think it's good to actually Sarcophagus. look Cold through them, touch. because uh, you'll find some, you know, some extra ammo, which I'll proceed to probably not burn through at all in the rest of the game, but... Hey, you never know. You never know when you might need it. And then we got this lovely wide chamber with, again, more of these little sarcophagus corridors on the sides. As well as, hey, check it out. That's right, if we find one more of these, you know exactly what's going to be next. What a bit of a meme, though, if you actually... S yeah, yeah, having all the ammo, like, you know, you, cut, you can never have too much. You can never have too much. Um, but imagine, like, being done with this area, and then it's like, oh, like, you missed a snake. We put five of them in the starting room to tease you that you had to pick up the snakes, and then you proceeded to not pick up the snakes, you know, like... Sarcophagus. This one's up Cold against the touch. wall. Uh... Well, it seems okay for the moment. I'm not missing anything yet. Oh. Doesn't appear to be working. Okay, keep an eye out for that. Uh, okay, I don't know where snake number seven is. Maybe it's the one spot. If there if there is a snake number seven. This water's okay to walk on though. Anyways, uh walk a bit more forward. <laughs> yeah. I mean to be to be fair, I it would be a little weird if the Tarkovkis was warm recent sarcophagus. He's still wriggling in there. In truth, there is much here that threatens you. Sure. But I am not among those you must fear. Okay. Who are you? I am Alf. Oh, the puppet! The last of the Falsher Knights. Alf. My father told me about you. Listen to me. And listen well. There are powers working here that would ensure that you fail in this quest. And desire you humiliated and dead beside. In that order. I've been humiliated before. Who wants me dead? <laughs> what? You've been humiliated before. <laughs> Even now they may walk in these halls. They are enemies. And both stand between you and your destiny. Look, I don't understand what this is all about. This you must know. 
Ah, oh, so that was a mistake. Just sat in the chair. No one without the brand may touch the shrine. It knows its own. Anyone who has touched it and been in scarred may never hold it again. Its power would kill them. Oh. You mean this? You alone may undertake this task, Adam. Great as it is. What task? This has nothing to do with me. The fate of the, the proofreading is terrible, isn't it? To be free lie in your hands. Walk in space. But they are using semicolons. All answers lie with that precious device. All things past and yet to be. Be pure of heart. Your mind is the greatest weapon you possess. One more thing. Speaking away from the mic. I may only give you knowledge. And within this place are things that were taken from me. Find them. They will provide a link between us. Okay, sure. Charge is met. Go with open eye and the wings of angels. The sword of the dragon is held aloft as a beacon. Hey, exactly. Find the tower, Adam. And then he he wanders into Gorzian Blur. Just gonna happen. You know, you know it's real when the music kicks in. Oh, hi there. Okay. Oh, pistol. Excuse me, was that getting back up? You're not allowed to do that. You are not allowed to do that. Okay. Okay, we're getting we're getting the heck out of dodge. Sorry, man. Uh does this work? Doesn't appear to be nope. working. Okay. They're not very fast and obviously, you know. You can sprint like a champ. Yeah, okay, I'm just I'm just gonna leave. I'm hearing the heart noise again. Okay, where do we go now? Cause did I grab anything of worth back there? You can't leave forever? That is true. Maybe it's a good place to save, just in case. Uh, but my gut feeling is I needed an item that was there. Because you can't just talk to someone and be like, yeah, I talked to him. But we checked every corridor. Oh. I've staggered them. They're all in weird spots now. It's locked. Yeah, th I've just got a gut feeling that I need to like run with a an item from here. I don't remember that. I'm respawning. Oh, oh, oh. Respawning's kind of annoying, isn't it? Oh. 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 Okay. The shrive again. I did. Yeah, the shrive goes back in your inventory after you use it there. Depiction of a knight. I don't know. There's a part of me that feels like I need to have like a an item from here because otherwise, then I can't leave, right? Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna wander back. Yeah, yeah, it's back in my inventory. Like, see, right there. Yeah. Well, we're just gonna leave. Can't stop me from leaving. There's gonna be a guy right behind this door. Hi there. Yep. Okay. Good thing they have turning circles. Okay, we're just gonna run straight back to the top. So I think you have to go through here, this one door, and then we're back up. Not that way. Not that way. Hold on. 
Which way are we going? This way. Hi there. Gotta use that every so often. I don't know why those, uh, skeleton dudes are respawning. It's kinda odd. So this is the part that I was like, you know, have I, have I, have I got everything I need or did I just wander back? Because all these enemies are respawning on me. That makes sense. It doesn't appear to be working. But it definitely looks oh. like you need to have an item in order to get out of here. And I'm like, what did I pick up on the way, right? It's not the shrive itself. Holy snap, it is, it is the shrive. It is the shrive. There we go. I love how it's like, and I, I love how large these maps are. Because you wander up here. Oh. He hasn't seen a woman all game. He doesn't know how to feel. And she's British. Dreams are a curious thing, aren't they? Oh. <laughs> That's a red flag. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you. I'm sorry I'm getting used to it. <laughs> I'm getting used to it. Maybe you could help me? Lady, I just drove for two hours in a cab to get to a house in the middle of nowhere. I don't know why I'm here. I'm cold. I'm wet. Ooh. <laughs> People are trying to kill me. And to top it all off, I've just had a riveting conversation with my father. And normally that would be great. Except he's dead. And you think you can help me? Now he's the red flags. Well, they can fix each other. If that's the way you feel. Look, I'm sorry. Oh, he's I Canadian. He's Canadian. Shall we start again? Right. He's not sorry. He's sorry. <laughs> that's that's the tell. I'm Rebecca Trevisard. Ooh. Pleased to meet you, Rebecca Trevisard. Adam Randall. <laughs> you can read minds. Read minds. Psychic. Call it what you will. Oh, it is just casual. It's a gift. I'm here to help you. And you do need help, don't you? I don't know what I need. Adam. <laughs> you can't leave. Watch me. There's more to this than the fate of your father. You didn't know my father. Maybe not. Oh, call the bluff. But I do know this. Something else is going on. Something that will affect both of us. And the answer's lie in his hands. Is it, is it the land tax? Oh, what? lantern duty. And there we go. See, that chapter was a little longer than the previous one, wasn't it? Alright, so now we're back up here. Uh, you can actually, um, I'm pretty certain... Oh, white noise. You can, you can actually ask her about a bunch of stuff. Hope you don't mind me asking, but where do you come from? Here and there. I'm always on the move, being a lecturer. Rebecca, do you have any family? I did. A long time ago. Oh. I hardly remember them. What about you, Adam? Do you have any other family? Only my mother. My parents separated when I was very young. What happened? You know, people grow apart sometimes. Dad always had more time for the church than his family. Oh, snap! He actually writes mother it in the, in the plot. Canada. I never saw Dad much after that. 
I met him briefly four years ago when I was in a student exchange. It was an awkward meeting. He changed a lot, but it was too late. I mean, when you live in a spooky house... Late, Sounds like the voice of experience. That was a nice demonstration of the paranormal. Do you only read minds? Can you make you gotta establish this as well. The moment you know someone spoons. who can do this, everything's on the <laughs> there table. There are many aspects to the paranormal, Adam. Many things one should know. Um, that sensitives, faculty X, intuition, the noosphere. The what noosphere? Oh boy, okay, let's go for it. Psychokinesis, PK, is the direct influence of a mind on a physical system without the mediation of any known physical energy. Okay. We see three-dimensional space around us in the physical world. Well, many regard the psychic world as four-dimensional, the fourth being a place where an individual... May You're writing this down? This is on the test. Out. This is on the test. In lucid dreams, the dreamer is aware of dreaming and can decide whether to continue the dream or end it. So, the dreamer essentially manipulates the dream. Okay. Sensitives are those who are sensitive to impressions that are not normally perceived by the average person. Such a person is commonly known as a psychic. Faculty X At some point, you start thinking, did the writers actually, like, believe this or had a period where they believed this? Because I always love those kinds of, like, stories of, like, people who really do have first-hand experience believing into this. There's always a part of me that, like, feels like, you know, there, there's a possibility that, like, psychic stuff and all that actually that does, like, exist, but it's also like, man, you know, like, psychic? it's hard to, hard to perceive. The noosphere, or mind sphere, is the term for the network of thought which some people believe surrounds the Earth and links all humanity. Well, thank you for all that. You can actually ask her about, uh... Some of these people as well. Do you know anything about the holy relics Alf spoke of? Being a knight of the ancient world, Alf would be tied to his equipment, the bond stronger than word. What do you know of the Falshir knights? I once read of a battle fought between a company so of much rogue plot back here, though, I'll tell you that. and a group of knights, which I believe were of the Falshar order. But I'm not sure where the battle was fought. What do you think Alf meant when he said, to go with open eye? Isn't it obvious? Look at my pendant. Oh, okay. Wings of angels? Mean anything to you, Rebecca? Wherever there is evil, there is always the light. Perhaps it's nothing, but I think his words speak of a location or an item connected to angels. That's a real stretch, isn't it? The sword of the dragon. Held and if you don't know what she means by that, then there you go. <laughs> the game's not giving you the clues. Sir Michael battling Lucifer during the fall from heaven comes to mind. Wow. Alf mentioned a voyage to the tower. I can't be sure, but I don't recall the house having any towers. Alf seems to want to help. Can I trust him? I need to trust someone, for sanity's sake. Go with open eye. The wings of angels. Sword of the dragon. Voyage to the tower? What does it all mean? What does it all mean? There's the pendant as well, so you can... Rebecca's pendant feels strangely close. You know, it is an eye. When my father appeared to me, he was wearing a stone around his neck. A pendant? He said it was his jailer. I know little of that, Adam, save that it binds and keeps him here. The essence of the stone is all around. It seems Turns to out everywhere. Stones Every keep you in place. And shadow. And then you can always ask about yourself. Look at my hands. The marks look like burns. But they don't hurt. I can't understand. Adam, there is a power connected to the brands and that odd device you found in the mausoleum. The Shrive. Cool. Okay, so, anyway. Continuing on with the ordeal. Uh, we need to somehow figure out exactly what you do here. Doesn't appear to be working. If only you could put these in your inventory and go bump. Ah, oh, you got you got to do it one at a time. Bump. 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 We'll get the last one. 
Doesn't appear to be work. Doesn't appear to be working. Man, I guess I do need one more. It's probably a spot somewhere. Or I missed it all the way back down here. Which you can keep going down. It's not like it. Oh, I shot the window. <laughs> uh, whoops. Whoopsies. We can explore the rest of the house though. Oh, I had a. Get him with the good old one, too, though. Please do not want on to say. <laughs> exactly. Okay, I don't think there's anything else outside. Oh, they they did get rid of the markings here, though. So we can enter some of these extra rooms. And read some more scriptures. Some of this is the same as the marks on my hands. No way. Oh, I said that, saw that one already. Uh, this one? The mausoleum map. Oh, we're, hold on, we already saw that. The map of the caverns. This is brand new. Yeah. What am I looking at? We'll, we'll, we'll get to know that eventually. There's a lot of cool, like, little areas map around. The world. Not in very good condition. Oh, my hand's not burning. Hey, there's something here. A small crystal of some sort. Just yoink. It's not hot at all. Map of Europe. Smoke damaged. Table. Used recently. You're right. Dust's been disturbed. I'm not an expert on dust, so I will tell. Hi there. I'm just struggling to hit that guy, apparently. There we go. You can also wander into this room. Again, a bit dark. We'll, we'll figure it out. Uh, well, didn't really go into any room, did we? Locked. Uh, locked in there, that's okay. Although it's a bit dim, isn't it? What? Sounds like you just opened something. Well, that's fun. That's... <laughs> oh, hold on. There we go. It's got a lot of beds for a mansion. I would love a house... No, actually, no. I would hate that a house this size. Because you start getting into the whole, like, you know, how do you, how do you clean a house this big? Spend all my time cleaning a house, you know? Uh... Ooh, hi there. The sword does reach pretty far, though. Map of the world. It's not in very good condition. Old knight's helm. It's very stylized. Funny. You know, I can't work out what period it's from. Just, uh... Weird nights have unrealistic. The <laughs> oh, exactly. I mean, he's already, he, you know, he's lying there by, by, uh, you know, by candlelight most of the time, but then, you know, maybe it's magic, because he's got magic seals on some of these that are just oh, but always just chilling this there. This tapestry's seen better days. This tapestry or he runs his own generator, days. which is usually uh, the case. It's fast. Love it. you can see some rooms off in the distance as well. Did I open this? Yes, I did. Yes. Okay. Lots of lockers, you know what that means. Oh, none of them open up? None of them? None of them. Nah, not a single one. Don't budge. Don't budge. Don't what? Budge. We... <sighs> Spent all that time trying to open this door only to fast. not have the next one open. Oh, hi there. So if we wander in here, um... I believe there's a small aperture in the top of this. Man, if Do only... Do have anything we can use or put in it? Yeah, if only I picked up something bright and green that you could put into the top of this. And then, uh, just very casually... Oh, uh, Egypt. Egypt. Don't you just occasionally wake up in Egypt? Was this Moon Knight? The TV show, not the not the character himself, although he probably could have at some point. Oh, 
Also serious Sam. Ah. Hello. You can, you can say hi from a distance. You don't have to say hi up close. Like in spinning range. He's, just say, he's clearly a guy. He's gonna jump scare ya. He's clearly- Oh no, what are you doing? What are you doing? The sands of time recognize your spirit. The sands of time love comedic timing. There is no one here but you and I. Oh, well, because he's got so much garb on, he has to wave his hands like a Power Ranger villain. To you, I am known as the Narl. The Narl. Orson Welles, that's him. All right. So you're known by many names through time. What are you, some kind of time travel? What is it? Some kind of time travel? It is time that is the traveler here. I exist at all points, in all realities. Trust in time. Tell me why you have come here. Your guess is as good as mine. For a key to time and reality. Isn't that what you seek? Key to time and reality. A device that allows the very fabric of the universe. <laughs> Wave this in his face. To the tower itself, boy. To the tower. Hey, relax. What tower? Relax. The place between and beyond. The tower can exalt worlds together. Oh. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Give me the key. Look, if you are who you say. Maybe you can tell me something about my situation. Like, who are my enemies? It is forbidden to speak of time. What? <laughs> the rules say you can't, you can't ask. How do I get back to my own world? Place the crystal back upon the dome. Yes, that crystal. <laughs> okay. It's a very nice crystal. That would sell for a lot on eBay. Or, what would they do in 1997? Because they did have the internet back then for some people. Oh. Imagine being like disrespected and called linear. Ugh. Uh. Can you tell me anything about this test? I told you it was on the test. Is it dangerous? Nothing can be told other than what has already been told. Ah. I'm still unsure. Maybe, maybe you could. Then you have failed already. You'll never believe what just happened. I saw the whole thing. You died. The crystal's gone, Rebecca. We might have to go back and talk to the Narl a second time. We just have to chance our luck for another crystal. Maybe those cold flames hold more than one secret. I love how- I love how they sort of bait you here, but they give you a second chance on this one. <laughs> You're just like, we'll never believe what happened. So you gotta go back, get another crystal from wherever that fireplace was. Uh... Which I think it was through here. There you go. Crystal's back. Grab <laughs> It's the only chance. There you go. So now we're back here. <laughs> I really should have saved a little bit before, but yeah, it's fine. It's fine. He's got a nice place up here, though. I'll tell you that. Yeah, it's nice Egypt view. Very nice. The pyramids in that direction. Hi. Hi. Okay. I don't... Done. 
Dann. Ah. Wow. <lacht> okay, he's still chilling. Oh, 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 there he goes. There he goes. He's gone. He's out of here. Don't doubt. He's got the, the mask. They were chilling up. Ah. This side. This side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One. Two. Ah, ah, ah. And then we just go back. Oh yeah, we're, we're chilling with so many moss. And that was another chapter, you know, why not? So now, we should be able to go through one of these doors. I think there was a... One over here. Nope. Still there. Start fast. This symbol's glowing. I believe it's designed to either keep us in or keep something out. This tapestry's seen better days. We'll keep wandering around. We'll find it. We'll find the, the place eventually. I think this leads back into the very starting room. Stuck fast. Damn. Power's off in here. Okay, one of these doors somewhere. We've wandered around here, although this... Yeah, okay, cool. Ah, house layout. House layouts, am I right? This is why I wouldn't like a place this big, because I, I'd just get lost. And then that's the dome room, so okay. So up the stairs, we've got the little place on the bit where there's the study here. There's... That one trap, I guess, just cash. Locked. And it's locked. Cool. <laughs> Just a bit curious, isn't it? Uh, it makes it look like it's a place to go, but it's not. Um, no, I'm very certain there's a new door somewhere around here. Yeah, <laughs> that's what that's what the sword looks like, right? Won't budge. I love the reflection. Actually, does like decently work as well. Like even things like the the door does correctly do a door. It's very nice. Where's our newer games with working mirrors? We've, we've had RTX for like six years. Where is it? Uh, I've been wandering around a bit. So... Stuck fast. But you're stuck, 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 you're stuck fast. I think it's stuck. Never mind, it's not stuck anymore. Just had to turn... Turn the freaking sword. Ah, oh, she's... <sighs> what is it? Give me your hands. It's a bit phallic, isn't it? <laughs> Just staring off into space. The front of the house. It's not the hat man, is it? It's the worst shuffling as well. The harvester. Oh, true, yeah. It is the hat man. Ooh, dang. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> I thought he made it disappear. Dude, imagine, like, someone psychically, like, spying on you, and you leave cards for him to read, like, as you're doing that. I should do that from time to time. Thanks for telling me that. Sure. <laughs> him again. Dressed as a... a Templar. Oh. Gets around a bit, doesn't he? <laughs> Coming at me, hey. Eh? No, all these shotgun around. See how though. Can't see how. They enjoy laughing at me, don't they? Stuck 
that. We're well, not him. locked in. We've got the door still there. Just check out that at the top of the top of the top of the bit as well. So we have map of tower incomplete. I think it's just because you return here quite a bunch, so they don't give you the whole thing. Okay, it's nice I have that map on already. Hi. This isn't going to move in a hurry. Purely decorative. It's most of this room is purely decorative. So here we go. We've got a... Budge. Another symbol. Everyone likes fun symbols. Combine the face with the soul traveler. Become as one to walk the tower. Know that you stand before the tower. And possess the right of This is passage. the whispering guy from Adam, earlier. I think he means we should put on the masks. Wow, they... they <laughs> Spell it out for us. So, uh, yeah, go into your inventory, uh, find one of these masks, because I'm pretty sure. Oh, no, you only got one. Oh, you got two, sorry. Double click. I mean, yeah, yeah, it's literally the key to the next place, but it's like we've been picking up the other masks. We've got the snakes. Also, woo! That's an effect. We've got the snake. We've got a bunch of things where it's like they don't yet have their use, they will show up. Ooh, a spit roast. The best kind of roast. Adam, where's your mask? Where's yours? Welcome, travelers. Oh, no. Your masks are part of the magic of the tower and do not exist within. They will return when you depart for your own world. Okay. These are dark times to be walking the tower. Tell me, what has brought you here? The mask, I guess. There's no matter to me. What, what's the point in asking? Your reasons are your own. Ah. Why'd you come here? Oh, mind. <laughs> My father's soul is in prison somewhere. <laughs> That's ADR, that line. I seek the means of his release. Be careful of this place. Beware the ire. The ire. The cloud of phantoms and spirits. It is the entity of death. Do you know this Forever guy? doomed to wander this place. And oh. finally I mean, that's the name of the game. Tree. Realms of the Haunting. If it ain't haunting, it ain't one of the realms. Incarnate. Who are you? Raphael. Like the Guide Ninja Turtle? The tower. And the last of its gardens. Those who perished or fled when the ire came to this place. I remain to ward and protect all those who come here. To ward and protect. And to aid them in any way that I can. Whatever your reasons for coming here, you must know that you must make... The short guy from Game of Thrones. Uh, oh my gosh, the name. Uh, Peter Dinklage. I mean, the aspect ratio isn't helping. He's like super duper stretched out, but... The crossroads between all realms. You came here by the mantle stone upon which The mantle stone? Well, I guess, yeah. And by the masks you wear. That, yeah, we've to established place, that. You must take off your masks and stand upon one of the mantle stones. There are many. Each one capable of taking you to a different realm. Very confusingly, by the way, there are some portals that lead back to same realms. If that makes sense. The creator said four realms. Yes, it's it's almost a hub world, Earth sort of. One. The others are Rakria, the realm of the spirits. Aqua, the divine. The other the other realms are the not really world. like. It's not like they're evenly sized levels. It's more just like, well, this is a world, and we just wanted to have the portal that Travis, led to magical places. Do you understand my words? We do. And you may walk within the tower. No, oh, easy. Or return to your own realm. Cool. Thanks, bro. <laughs> and then, uh, <laughs> I'd let you just casually leave. If you wanted to. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. Very nice. Uh, this is a gentle reminder to save because, uh, um, obviously you can see that, um, <gasps> this happens quite a bunch. So. You want to make sure you're not going to get caught out like that. 
guess not too bad. This is certainly a blood level. I love, like, the zaniness of some of these platforms, but, like, oh, yeah, yeah, this is a blood level. 100%. Um, now, fortunately, as well, I've picked up the map. So you can see the map of the tower. And we should be able to see... Um, that I think we started at here. We've got this, like, weird little bit here. There's a weird little obelisk down here. There's gonna be one with a hole. Kinda stops there. You got a weird lightning arrow. And then, uh, you got a pole. And another portal at the far end. So if we wander down, or if you wander in this direction, you'll quickly realize... It's a mania. That is true. Mania is a word that, like, I rarely see, other than Rayman 2. Hello, lies to the north, traveler. Traveler, look to the west, and there ye shall find Heled. What's this? A waystone. I think they're called Kadurus. Kaduru the ooh. means path marker. Ooh. These markings are a kind of map, then. Heled can be located in the east. Well, that's a relative one, but also why ask it when it's got the arrow right there? Just to tell you. And yeah, we're just chilling over there, so. Um. I just wonder. I love this effect, by the way. So, um. He plots against me. His vision is great, but my will is the stronger. Hello, lies to the north, traveler. So, I love that, like, you've got this, like, you know, wall here that's like draw skybox, and then you've got this wonderful little portal, which is, uh, still walls, technically. I don't know. And then, uh. <laughs> more area over here. True, he always carries them in here. The path to Heled is to be found in the south. We've got, uh, this. There's something odd about this pillar. You're right. It's making me feel nervous. I was faint, but very powerful. I do like me a good old portal. What is a game- You can't call your game Realms of the Haunting and not have, like, magical portals. <laughs> how many how many ways can you say? So anyway, we wander over to the other side. This looks like the place we should be. Yep, got it. <laughs> this doesn't even take you to another realm as well. This is just the backyard. We took a magical portal to get into the backyard. Well, we're still here. We seem to be in one piece. Whoever here is, seems to be some sort of long forgotten garden. Judging by the walls around us, I'd say we're at some sort of central point of the house. Yeah, it's, it's just still in the house. No one's been here for a while by the looks of things. What's that? Uh, voices, Listen. like, everywhere in the mansion. There's voices everywhere. Oh, the Blood Moon Rises. No, 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 the house is just- the house, the house is just in England. The realms are like, like, um, like the, the, you know, the Nine Realms or something, where it's like the, the different dimensions entirely. It makes you think that it's gonna be linked to the past, but no, it's just, it's just a very big hub. I love the lightning, though. It's quite nice. Board it up. Keep something in. We're out. Rather depends on where you're stood, doesn't no, it? No, well, Hellad is our world, and it's still Hellad. It was Hellad the whole time. Wow, it's dark in this room. Wow, there's an enemy right there. Wow, hey, you got any lights? You got a light somewhere? No? Board it up. Keep something in. Or out. Rather depends on where you're stood, doesn't it? Yeah, okay. Cool room. We've got a bit of water here. Can't see anything in there. It's so murky, I can't tell how deep it is. <laughs> That's why I jumped in. Locked. Okay, cool. It's a nice grassy courtyard though, other than the um creepy statues. With us. Another oh, statue. With us. The voices seem to be coming from the statues. Unnerving. But if you look in here, there's the voices key. are. That doesn't look like rainwater to me. So what is it then? I haven't got a clue, but... Yeah, you'll definitely know when you're not a... There's something catching the light. Oh, well, 
get there. Hi. It doesn't look like so what is it? I would like to hey, duck in there. Just grab the key. The <laughs> there's a duck button <laughs> for this one moment. Or maybe multiple moments before. I like how if you try to stand here as well. So you think you can just return from where you came? Just like that? I think not. <laughs> Thanks, bro. I love this Halloween decorations. Jeez. What the hell? Sacrifices. I'm... I'm not sure I like any of this anymore. This is a bit of a practical joke. Why is he... Oh, it's the windows. On oh, guard. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There we go. Now we've got the key. We can walk in here where we've got, um... This. Oh, my gosh. You inside. I don't want to skip the dialogue. Now the masks will be mine. The <laughs> Wolverine guy coming at me. Your guess is as good as mine. Who's the one whispering to us? But it's the same voice actor as the like. Don't walk down this hallway unless you're branded. Kind of thing. So what did we pick up? We picked up the rune guide. Very important that you know your runes, okay? This means Aqua. This means Raquilla. This means Sheol. And this is Helid or Earth. There you go. So H means Helid. Triangle, I, equilateral triangle means Aqua. Um, yeah, okay, sure. You'll see these icons just in some places. It doesn't really mean too much other than telling you, hi, yes. I should probably uh, heal, because you're never going to... There is never, like, healing anywhere else in the game, so you might as well. Board it up. Board Keep it up. Rather well, depends yeah. on where you're stood, doesn't it? Nailed up shut. It's a deep cut XTC song. Would recommend finding that album if you can. Uh, mostly for Easter the theater. I love how now you can leave. It's purely just to tell you the... You know, the, to, to get you the runes. So I mean, oh yeah, tons. If, I, if I'm not name dropping a band every single time, then every single stream, then I'm doing something wrong. Okay, we'll do this one last chapter. This one's a lengthy one, but we'll get this one last chapter done. Uh, okay, let's uh, not fall off as well. There were so many artists that released an album on Friday. There was a one from a Geordie Greep, who was the uh, uh, guitarist of Black Midi, or one of the guitarists, although the, the other one left after the first album. Um, there was a uh, one from The Smile, which is uh, two members of Radiohead. Uh, there's um, Godspeed You Black Emperor had one. I don't know if uh, I don't follow the band members on that one, unfortunately. And um, finally. Uh, there was, uh, my mate told me about a Blood Incantation released another one as well. All on Friday. One out of seven. True, true. Although, I'd probably say a lot of them release on Sundays. Oh, sorry, on oh, no, Fridays. The path to Ramuya is to be found in the south. It doesn't really look like it goes that much further, right? I'm pretty sure we just wander back, right? I think we just. Shall turn as blood, and the sun as sackcloth in the last days. And the others are just pointing that direction for some reason. Actually, hold on, wait a minute. I think if you uh walk into it, no. Maybe it's the one back down there. Hold on. I'm going to try and run real fast to get to the... Not that one. Hold on. I have a running theory. And it involves running. Being very careful. If I go back to this... Uh... There's something odd about... You're right. It's making me feel nervous. There's some... You're right. It's mm. making me feel... Faint but very powerful. Kuduru, map and marker for the tower. Nah. I thought I thought Give something. Me the blood of man. 
Oh. Kaduru. Map and marker for the tower. Yeah, not mine. Okay. <laughs> I was thinking there was something more to them. But nah. I'm not feeling it. I'm really not feeling it. I don't think it's happening. So now we just wander back. I love this uh, room over room going on here as well. And everyone's favorite teleporting ability. Um, but yeah, no, I, I, I've listened to the, nice, by the way, I've listened to the, um, the, the Geordie Creep album quite a few times, there's a lot of jams off it, but, uh, you know, if you didn't like Black Midi, then probably, uh, this will be the same boat, and if you did like Black Midi, Plenty sweet, rubble lots of great the stuff in there. doesn't look too safe, does it? Uh, and if you want one single to take home and understand, uh, listen to a Holy Holy uh, which Dance. is the Stuck fast. sort of leading single off that album. It was a good fun. I really liked it. Um, I'm a sucker for incorporating uh, jazzy or just kind of um, any kind of, uh, I guess, more exotic elements. So there's a lot of, um, of kind of tango and together. that kind Stop of regional kind of strategies going on. I... Yeah, it... it it's a uh, yeah that single's been out for probably a couple of months but yeah oh it's it's a it's a jam it's a jam okay why am i wandering straight into a wall it's gotta be something more to it right maybe there's a button I'm just blind hold on I don't see anything. Uh, well, the goal should be to just explore more of the house, which I love how I can see that. This looks like a whole pillar's just crushed down here, and you can. Hey, get what's this? Looks like a zone mark. One pixel. Boundary. One pixel seeing the uh, the zone boundary, but uh. I think that there's got to be something, cause like you know we just oh. Pfft. Uh, hit the button. Hit the big button that's right there. Oh, uh, look. Oh my gosh. Should be a little concerned. Strange place. <laughs> I should be a little, little concerned, but we got there. We got there in the end. Oh. Oh, they're up there. They can't. They can't hurt me. They're up there. It's fine. It's fine. I think they. I think they can drop down. Yeah, they can drop down. But uh, the path finding is really weird. <laughs> I'm gonna stab the button. Actually, it's my pistol. Thank you very much. This is my pistol. You got some some room over room going on. That's right. This engine is good fun, like, even if it is, you know, sort of Doom-esque in terms of, like, well, you know, the, the perspective is always a bit weird. It's not a teleport. No, no, no. Okay, so, uh... It doesn't appear to be working. Can't climb up to that key up there. This area is sunken. From the look of it, I'd say this area is the top of some altar stone. I feel like I needed to keep one of the snakes. They gave me seven snakes, and I put them all down. <laughs> we need to grab the snake again. No, 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 no. We're not combining the face with the soul. Okay, we need to grab the snake. Snake is through this door. Through that door. Uh, up the stairs a little bit. Probably just, you know. You want to get more back again. There's another snake somewhere, and we'll come back with all seven, and we'll be like, ah, yeah, there you go. Made so much sense. Oops. I'm wiggling too much. Combine the, combine the face with the soul trap. Become as one to walk the tower. So here we go. So with the snake, you can... Oops. Possess the right of passage. Oh. <laughs> Hold on, come back down, come back down. Preferably stand on the platform as you 
rise up to the top. It's a bit of a tight squeeze. More importantly, we haven't found anything broken with it yet. There we go. <laughs> All that just for a key. That'd be a good point just to save for the moment. Um, but yeah, I've listened to the Smile album once, but I don't have a lot of thoughts about it other than um, Windows 95 in, hurry. in the lyrics. It's a good meme. Uh, I think... Yeah, we got these guys showing up. That might sound good to you, but we can't stay here forever. He's just chilling. Kind of grooving. Budge. Okay, that one's uh, won't budge. Locked. That one's locked. Well, actually, if it's locked, then I probably should use the key, right? Yeah. Aggressive moves. <laughs> they are very aggressive. Uh, probably use that one key. Oh. Alright, yes. <laughs> Don't get trapped on the map geometry, will ya? There you go. Uh, did that open? Not that door. Trap him in there. Plenty of this rubble around. The structure doesn't look too safe, does it? It's not worth trapping him, is it? Or is it? Get him! Yeah! I should get out the boomstick sometimes. <laughs> Alright, no, no, no. Come over here. Come over here. Oops. Too busy aiming the wrong way. Come on. There you go. I'm pretty sure it's like not really that needed just because uh like <laughs> I'm pretty sure we just opened this door and they can't fit through the door anyways. Wow, what a tiny room. Full of some healing items and more pistol ammo. You thought I was wasting some ammo back then? No, no, not at all. Um, so yeah, I gotta. Oh, I gotta. I gotta give some more albums to listen uh, over the next few weeks because uh, I always struggle to like listen to a lot of new music just like right away. Everyone likes a, a good long corridor. By the way, did you spot the very slight map transition going on there? Kind of kicked in as we're going down this long corridor. It's so subtle. It's very subtle, but it is there. Everyone likes a good cave. That'd be a good save point as well. Okay, so. Uh, did I get a cave map? No. So, uh, good luck. Depiction of a knight. Hold on, how hot is this? How hot is this? Sarcophagus. Cold, cold to, the to the touch. It's cold to the touch. Well, we do like our rocks and we do like our weird boxes. Thanks for the follow, Marcus Kenny. Thank you very much. I'm actually... Oh, dude. I'm actually really hyped if I can somehow break... We can finally break the 2000 YouTube barrier. We're at 1977 right now. <laughs> so... Again. It could happen soon. Could happen very soon. And then very, that's two percent of the way to the play button. I wish that oh, when you had your play button like sent, you could have like the names of all hundred thousand people subscribed just permanently on there. That'd be fun. Can you see us? Where are you? Balance. 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 The bank account balance. This has all been an analogy by the by the banks to get you to pay your rent. What place? 
Please keep talking. Don't go. Where no, is this? Don't chamber? do it. <laughs> I'm hanging up. You must pay me by the end of the week, or else we will be repossessing your property. There's a lot of awkward silence at the end of these cutscenes. Well, that depends on who it was. Uh, it was a ghost. How have you been treating all your ghost conversations this past week? Always trust the nervous laughter. Well, that's not nervous, is it? So. Okay. Uh, I got myself turned around, but that's okay. I'm pretty sure this is just a long corridor to get you into a cutscene. Boss arena? Mm. The worst kind of arena. Uh, respawning flying dudes arena. And, uh, the worst kind as well. There's, uh, pits and places you can fall off as well. Oh, I can aim. They're not too strong, these things, but, uh, yeah. The demon sea- that's <laughs> just seagull noise! Oh, look at that! But I'm pretty sure they do just casually respawn all the time, so, uh... There's no point keeping still. This area is like, it keeps- it- it goes. It- it goes on for quite a bit. There is a map, somewhere. I worry I've missed the map. So uh we'll just we'll just use our bearings. Oh hi there. It is just a seagull though. Oh wait, hold on. Cave map? Map of caverns, there we go, yes, yes. Sorry, yes. Okay. Uh, so where did we enter? Oh, this looks... This looks about where we are right now, isn't it? And we followed along... This spiky bit. And we probably came from over here. That makes sense. So now we just need to figure out... Maybe wandering over here. And... Probably need to give a guy there. Thing, so... Okay. Well, let's grab this. Nice hand symbol. Very nice. What does it say on the ground? Uh... Does it say fool? Maybe it does. Call of, of duty. That's right as well. The stairs as well as so you get to drop down to a low level. And briefly, briefly wave your, your wonderful staff everywhere. Oh, hey there. It's a bit of a high shot. No high tackles in this game, I tell ya. Okay, where are we going? I don't think there's actually anything down in the pits. I think it's just there to laugh at you for falling down here. Although it does lead you very close to where you need to be. Thank you, Seagull. Uh, oops. Turned the wrong way. Alright, so hold on. Where am I on the map? We've gotten ourselves turned around. Okay. So, we wandered through here. That's... Okay. So if we go... I think I have to go all the way around the far side. And this is there for the very end. Yeah, at least at least the uh yeah, the shotgun stick respawn or reloads. And they're not that strong, these things, so. 
it's fairly straightforward. Or it's super effective, you know? Like it's, it's just like, oh, it's really good against them. Uh, it's a bit of a weird visual, but sure. Trust a ceiling that's like this as well. Uh, back to the map. Back to the map. Uh, I think I'm here. So I think I need to actually go all the way around there. So may I just uh, remind as well, like... Yeah, uh, water doesn't seem safe in any of this game, really. I'm worried one of them's behind me. But, we'll walk past. So I, I might just remind as well, like, I... This probably looks a little strange with me waving the mouse around still. Trust me, it looks way more natural than it actually, like, does. Oh, sorry, sorry. It feels more natural than it actually is. Like... You basically just move forward and back, and I'd recommend just using the A and D to turn around and occasionally, uh, oh, I guess I, oh. <laughs> it was fake water. The best kind of water. I think I gotta jump. Yeah, it's fake water. It's, t <laughs> it's, it's not even real water. Okay, so this is right at the start. I need to somehow get over there. I need to somehow get here. <laughs> okay, well that looks interesting. Sure. Okay, we're over here somewhere in this part of the cave. Silent Seagull! You will not have me chips today! <laughs> Arr, I'm a pirate all of a sudden. Uh, yeah, sure. Yep. <laughs> now, without the map, legit, you'd be, like, so lost here. Okay, cool. Ledge. Ledge. Everyone's favorite. Uh, carefully balance around the outside, because I'm very certain. Another, another check to the map. And you'll see that we are here, I think. Unfortunately, we're going to have a staircase, so this doesn't actually lead me to quite where I need to be. I love this green wall. It's gone here. Difficult to make out the inscription. It says rip. The wording's eroded by the water in this place. It says rip. There's no, there's no mystery. <laughs> Bone. Looks human. It is. I think I was just chilling there. Oh. Silence! Oh, that's dropping your health when you stand in there. That's uh, that's not fun. Oh. <laughs> Hi there. Okay, so now we're back here. What actually was the purpose of? Hi there. What was the purpose of uh that room or really where I? Oh, check it out. Oh, hold on. That might be needed for something. <laughs> the real dad was inside us all along. Or something. Uh, this is just walls, don't worry. <laughs> we had bottomless pits before, but not here. Yeah. Uh... He is- oh, true. We haven't really- I, I mean, that's the only gravestone I think we've seen all, all game so far. Oh, there's a shotgun ammo right there. Um... Yeah. Uh... Let me just tab out, because I have one last topic uh, to mention uh, on the stream, and that is, we have a follow-up about the Godot thing. And uh, as a follow-up, it's not really much of a follow-up. Um... But I think it's something important to note, which is, uh, the CEO of Godot, I believe it's the CEO, you could be gutsy and try to make that jump, by the way. I don't, I don't trust that, we're just gonna do the, the long walk. Uh, yeah. I had some good, like, 
loaded fry. I went to the um the rugby grand final uh, yesterday night, um, and uh, I had some uh some loaded fries from the the ribs and burgers uh, stall, and um the pro the the amount of like of uh what's the term opportune pricing for every meal. Everything there it was like six dollars for a bottle of water. It was like eighteen dollars for a, a burger. Everyone was doing it like that. Like eighteen bucks for my loaded fries. I think regular, like just a, a paper cup of chips, is like um, eight dollars or something. Um, or it should it should be like three and a bit euros. It should really be like a bit more. But uh. But, yeah, ah, oh, the, the amount of just, like, a bit of price gouging. Well, it's not price gouging, because it's just like, well, you're here at a venue, you know, you might as well charge people what they're, what they're willing to pay for. And apparently, when you're at a sport venue, everyone is willing to pay for chips. Doesn't matter how much you price them. It's a little fun portal right here, you know? That one hurts as well. Uh, but, uh, yeah, no, I, I wanted to mention, so the CEO of Godot is a guy called Juan Vinyetsky. No, I'm alright. Must, Must be a teleporter. <sighs> That's right, there's a teleporter in the middle of your cave maze. And we could probably drink, uh, one of them potions while we're at it. Wherever they've gone. There we go. Um, please do not stand on the pool. The pool of hurting is fun, though. Okay, your guess is as good as mine where I've ended up. I've got a staircase. Oh, is this in case you... Oh, I think... Okay. I think this is in case you drop down somewhere. You can then appear at the teleporter somewhere around here. This feels like I should be on the other side, but... Like, I should just be able to walk back on this and we teleport back, right? Yeah. Yeah, we should be good. Uh, anyway, CEO of Godot, um, he privated his Twitter account after he said, um, sort of a statement saying, oh, I don't see why people have a problem with the, you know, the tweet that was, I mentioned last week. Um, and, uh, usually, usually the sign is when someone privates their account, I'm not saying, you know, well, actually, yeah, if you're the one, like, making a statement, and then it's like, your private account, bro, like, just like, log off from the thing and then just like, suppress your, your notifications or something. You don't need to private your whole account over something like that. If I did... Um... But then, here comes the other thing. So, I think the reason why you'd, you probably would private your account is if you really wanted to be private, right? Also, check it out. Look at this guy right here. Cute little thing, isn't he? He's just chilling here. But um, he did. He didn't private his uh, Mastodon account at uh, at readers at Mastodon .game dev .place. It's which uh, you can't really private Mastodon. I don't. Hi. Hi. Yes. Hi. Oh. 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 I'm hitting buttons. I'm hitting buttons. I think the game deaded on me. No, I saved at the beginning of the cave, which isn't too bad because it's not really that many things I had to pick up. But a non-trivial amount of things I had to pick up still. Done. I think it actually copped on me just then. No. I'll give it like five more seconds and then it's like, uh, I do need to save more often. Yeah. Okay. Well, hit the restart and we do it all over again. That's okay. That's right. You got to run it with that. Oh, what a shame. What a shame. Oh, hold on. I'm hitting the buttons a bit too quick. We're loading here. 
So this would have been before this cutscene, which is a bit of a shame. Alright. We'll go quick. We'll go quick. Nope, don't don't quit to DOS. Okay. Uh anyway, uh He said in his uh tweet uh oh sorry, he said on Mastodon, and this is a this is a fun one, on the Fetty. Finally, the Fetty becomes relevant again. He said, We'll chill from Twitter slash X until after the US elections. Almost all the hate Godot got over the weekend was pretty much people who had not a clue what a game engine is, what Godot is, or what a FOSS slash community made project is. Most of the ones who did were the usual haters. Checking profile of haters, majority pro-Trump people with weird religious symbiology or symbology, or people with avatars slash obsession for anime little girls. Sometimes I feel I am too innocent for this world. End post. Um, now for reference, uh, if anyone doesn't, yeah, it's, it's a little bit, a little bit pompous. If anyone doesn't know, uh, yeah, Masanon is literally just a, a, an open source, um, uh, I, yeah, I'd call it a microblogging platform. I wouldn't call it, you know, exactly a Twitter clone, but certainly microblogging is just posting small things. Yeah, this is, this is a triple down and also a terrible triple down because it's not just like a, I believe I'm right. I'm sorry, like that's it, or not even sorry, you don't even have to say that, but like, this isn't just that, this is now a, like, dismissive, uh, like, call out, because he's, he has not addressed the heart of the problem. The heart of the problem is that, you know, like, I think that there's a time and a place to, I guess, if you want to promote certain themed things, uh, this community manager jumped on the gun and then really like just insulted a lot of people who are like uh, is this is this a bit too heated a bit too charged because there's a lot of examples like this yeah ad hominem it's like or well, it's not even ad hominem but it's just like he's believed or he's just said that like oh you know it's the it's pro-trump people which is like bro like what <laughs> no <laughs> that's that's such a like dismissive claim because it's like I know a lot of people who are like not at all pro-Trump and believe that and also a lot of people who I'm weasel wording but you know what I mean it's like like what does this got to do with whoever you vote for I'm Australian it doesn't matter which US politician I like more or not it really doesn't <laughs> yeah oh it's oh yeah exactly it and I feel like it's it got very charged you know around the Trump time. This is a politics thing. I'm sorry, but like, it's like, man, you know, like, I don't, I don't say, oh, he's pro Hillary Clinton or like that kind of stuff. It's like, it, I don't see it as much the other side. I see it a little bit. You see the term leftist a lot, which generally encompasses all that because they've changed candidate a few times, but it's like, like really, I'm like, I attack the heart of the argument. If, if someone says something you don't like, or you disagree with them vehemently, I don't think just saying, oh, he's pro-candidate, it's like 42% of the country voted for either candidate last time. Like, that's real dismissive to just casually say, like, oh, they're wrong because they're this. Unless it's directly a political topic that that candidate has spoken about, but this is the Godot game engine. This is not- <laughs> this is not at all that. Um... Or, I don't know what's with the weird religious sim symbology, um, like, I, I, I've personally not seen any of that at all, really, like, I mean, I guess other than, like, they're pro-Christian, that's kind of it, I don't see really tons of weird symbology, but sure. Yeah, oh, yeah, he's not addressing the core of the problem, um, and, and, and then also, People with Avatar's obsession for anime little girls, and I'm like, Ugh. you, okay, like, I, I, I understand some people do believe that anime is overdone. You do not get anywhere by <laughs> insulting, like, those people as a whole. It is, one, it is, like, I guess a, an aesthetic choice that just seems to be working in the world. That's why a lot of people like it. Yeah, exactly. It's like, it's like, what do you, what do you get out of targeting the anime people? 
There's a lot of, there's a lot of, like, I'm, 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 I was about to, uh, say a fine people on both sides. But, like, legit, it's like, if you like anime or you don't like anime, that's fine. It doesn't, like, neither of that really matters. I would definitely say there's a strong anime avatar culture on the internet. I don't think it's all, like, collectively minded, but I think it's definitely, like, a lot of people who value, um... I'd say maybe a little bit of traditionalism generally lean more like I guess that's it I don't think that counts I don't think everyone who likes anime believes that and I don't think everyone who believes that would like anime I, d I don't think it's a yeah eventually oh yeah yeah like this is this is the same as that well not the same but like it is very similar it's adjacent it's like the similarities of like oh I have such strongly held beliefs and therefore like Oh, I can immediately dismiss based on just something so cursory like that. It's like, what? I think I'm wandering in the right direction. I've picked up the gemstone. I've picked up the other one. I've hit a dead end. I'm trying to not base off the map. But yeah. But no, le legit. Like, there's nothing to be gained. I'm going to save right here. Right before this guy. And if we crash, then cool. I know that there's something wrong with the game. And I'll figure it out. Hi there. Always skip this cutscene. Oh, look! Look! <laughs> uh, the master of the place. It's me. Master of this place. <laughs> you are no master. Not of this place, nor of... That was worth a try. My children. Uh oh, more seagulls. Cute little thing. Oh my gosh, okay. Alright, words to live by. Uh, don't call yourself the master of the place. <laughs> um, also, just to, just to add in a double down, um, in his replies, uh, someone uh, says, uh, what were they after? Well, asking about the scenario because this guy, you know, it's on Twitter, you know, you're arguing about it in a different place. And he replies, being right about hating minorities, I guess. And I'm like, what on earth? This is not at all the problem. This is not at all the thing. He's, there's a couple of other replies, um, pretty much just like him missing the point entirely. Um, I would like to add as well, please don't go after, like, don't, don't reply to him. Just because someone talks about him doesn't, you know, you don't have to go out and fight against him on the internet. Um, that being said, though, some people already have. So, the, the wonderful thing about the Fediverse is that you cannot stop people from replying about your thing. Um, so I believe you gotta get the crystal, pop it in your hand, and, uh, hold on, we'll turn that off. There you go. Yeah, I mean, he, he probably doesn't understand. Some people have looked a bit more into, like, things that he's believed in and just gotten... He's that type of character. He is going to be making these mistakes constantly of... Constantly believing that that worldview is... You know, everyone believes in it. If you don't believe it, how could you? So... I like how that was the end of the chapter as well, so... But I think that that's a great spot to call it, other than talking about politics. Moral of the story of this guy is that uh, the development has been there has been no development. Or the development has been, rather, nothing has changed, nothing has fixed. And if you are upset about Godot, check out uh, Alternative Engines. And if you're not upset, hey, power to you, I guess. You know. Don't, don't let me convince you to be outraged. Like, <laughs> and, and, and to some degree, it's like, as community managers, like, I don't think it's too end of the world. Open source projects are very easy to just fork. And now you have a completely different community, which some people have already done. So people use blocks as an authority. Yeah, I, I don't like, I don't like privating or blocking your posts for quieting dissent. I think if you truly want to like, you know, I guess one is like, clearly people aren't convinced by you. And so the best way is to be candid and at least be a little, have a little bit of humility and go, Hey, yeah, like, even if you think that everything that's happened has been right, has gone, I think some people have been rubbed the wrong way. And I want to see, 
what we can do to make it up. But I do believe there was still right and, and, and you know, we'll, we'll keep the post up or something like that. Like, you can just say that. I personally think, like, like even if you're, you're okay with that post, whatever the community manager said on the Discord, mm, that's not on. That's not on. Yeah, it's, it's, it's unfortunate for some of those people to change. Um, but I, I'm not, I'm not even saying you're like conceding your worldview as well. Like all you have to do is just be like, Hey, yeah, like let's not, let's not just label people as like, I either pedophiles or religious like zealots. Like, you know what I mean? It's like, I'm, I'm too innocent for this world, bro. Like, <laughs> like I, I don't know, man, that just seems very odd. So, um, yeah, I, there is a, uh, there were a lot of, um, replies from, uh, yeah, people who, uh, yeah, let's just say have the, um, have the FUMOs in their profile pics and things like that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Another, another one. I, props for using a dot place domain this time. That's, that's a bit okay, but, um, don't click on that, please. <laughs> um, I don't know what's with the weird characters to try and get past, like... I actually wonder if, um, there's a, uh, there's a tool which, um, given a, like, some text will, um, uh, like, just effectively convert all your ASCII into just, oh, sorry, convert all your, like, fancy Unicode characters back down to ASCII and then try and do the filter events on that, so, um, yeah, I, if there's one thing on the Fediverse is that you will never play the numbers game on the Fediverse. One, because you don't actually know how many people have truly liked your post, um, you do get notified, but it also does depend on whether you're relaying with them. So there's probably a lot of these places, like if you actually look at the um, the tweet, you will not see that, sorry, if you look at the post on his own Mastodon, you probably won't see that many dissident replies. But if you go to m.bndow.com, for example, or my instance, because that's the reason why I have my own instance, is because I don't block any... Or at least I, I manually would block instances if they're like actually like the real bad kinds. There are certainly bad instances. That's that's why that's there. Um, but like like ones that are like actually like criminally bad. Like I wouldn't I wouldn't want to want to deal with that. Um, but there's a lot of like there's a whole angle of the Fediverse that gets flat out banned, like blocked from the other side for this very reason. And people try to perpetuate like block lists to basically be like, oh, just here's your easy list to block all the like truly disparaging instances it's like bro i i do not have problems with either side of people i don't antagonize people like that's 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 how i get around it i if you have a problem with me that's fine i don't have a problem with you <laughs> like like you know like it's your prerogative if you want if we disagree that's fine that's fine but if it's like if it's like oh you know like like I used to, I I actually did have a post account for a hot second. That was that was I I haven't blocked you. No, <laughs> I haven't blocked anyone, any one person on the Fediverse. I haven't had a bad chat with anyone there. Um, but I used to have a post account for like one hot second because that was my first like kind of gateway into the Fediverse. And um, and I just decided, hey, I want to self host because I want to one manage that stuff myself and also then actually have access to the wider. The wider Fediverse, um, because posts is one of the most notoriously blocked ones. They're one of the more famous ones. Um, I love seeing posts uh, knitter being used around because they run like one of one of the best maintained knitter instances out there. Um, <laughs> it's, and then it's just like people go, "Oh, don't you know posts is a terrible site?" And it's like, uh, "Okay, sure, that's what they say." So. Um, but yeah, I, it, it's so it's so interesting seeing um, the the side of Ma of Macedon and the Fediverse that completely doesn't like see the other like replies at all. They completely you know you, you don't see them. So uh, yeah, I'm not I'm not reading out these things out loud though. I'm not saying I I'm not saying I fully agree. <laughs> Other, other people as well there's a lot of people who say like very inflammatory stuff but like that's the joy of it all is that like you just say whatever and reply to whatever and you're not doing this to be popular you say it because you want to get stuff out that's why that's why i do it so the extreme sides 
Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, like rather than, like, force people into these, like, kinds of camps, because people... I remember as well, people will try to make their own social medias to try and be, like, centrists about stuff. And it's like, no one, no one finds that fun. And also, like, I'm fine with it, with people being opinionated. It's just, you don't want it to be a, a dog fight. And I think the easiest thing is, like, like, not saying, not saying that, like, the Fediverse doesn't have like counts and reply counts and things like that. But it's not a numbers game. People don't bot for attention on the Fediverse despite it being so easy to bot for, for numbers. But you don't do it because you don't have to do it. No one cares. No one cares how many likes you get on your Fediverse. All I care is that you get a few interesting comments. And I always love that about the Fediverse. No matter who I talk to, people are very interesting people there. So, that's all good. So, uh, hugs are always good. Yes. Yes. So, uh, don't go after this guy. Uh, but actually let him chill. Um, hopefully he figures out exactly what's wrong by the time he comes back. Um, and hopefully I, I want that community manager to realize that that's not how you run a community. That's all I care. Hopefully that's, that's the end of the story. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. So anyways, uh, we've wandered into uh, a bunch of caves. I've, let's do a double check save because I've been looking at the screen for a bit. And I think some people are like, oh, playing this game. And then here I am talking about some politics for a bit. So, um, but I would like to thank you so very, very much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the stream, you watched the whole thing, Fetty. So you don't actually need to uh, follow on Twitch or uh, watch the VOD uh, later um, on YouTube. But uh, if you're on YouTube right now, <laughs> And uh, you want to see the streams live, uh, they're on Twitch, uh, twitch.tv slash me and 8.30pm Australian Eastern Daylight Time. We're on Daylight Time now, um, every Monday, uh, and only Monday. And uh, yeah, you can see other VODs, everything in the past on the YouTube channel. Please, uh, I actually want to drive some numbers just to like, see how far we can push the numbers. Because we're at 1977 subscribers, which means we can actually hit the 2,000 finally. I hit the 1,000 in like 2012. <laughs> it's sort of just the slow trickle up. Um, but it's, it's been, it's been accelerating a little bit, so that's nice. And yeah, follow me on the Fediverse, uh, m.bndow.com, where you can see, uh, some, uh, messages here and there. Um, and that's it. Otherwise, stay safe, eat your green. Uh, there's a band called the 1977. There's a lot of ones, yeah. Oh, yesterday was, a uh, King Crimson Red's, uh, 50th anniversary. Top shelf album. Listen to that one. Listen to a lot of music. There's a lot of cool music that came out recently. So, anyways, peace everyone. Have a good one. See ya.